All right, cracking into the undershirt and the armor uh, in this video. The undershirt is, it's not an important detail, but you'd obviously notice if it was not done at all or done very badly. Um, it's not really the first thing that grabs your eye, but um, I did put a little bit of effort into it. I started with uh, German grey, and so I just base coated uh, the whole undershirt with German grey, letting that pre-shading shine through. I do get to an arguably uh, better angle uh, further on this video too. So to, to highlight the undershirt I used a combination of German grey and uh, Vallejo game colour steel blue. I believe it's called. Steel grey. Uh, so I mixed these together uh, and just picked out the uh, the folds and the raised areas that were sticking out. I wanted to get a work a little bit of blue in there because it's going to be next to the armor which is red and I wanted that red blue uh, contrast happening a little bit. Uh, once I picked out the bigger folds etc I moved on to picking out individual of uh, the ribbing on the undershirt and I started picking them out so further up I picked them out with almost pure steel grey, further down I picked them out with the mixture of the steel grey and the um, and the German grey which you can see there. I also did a bit of weathering just with some uh, black wash in between the panel lines. That's to go with the pre-shading and will hopefully shine through uh, the red layers that I'm starting to do now. So Vallejo Game Color uh, Scarlet Red I believe it is or Bright Red. Um, haven't, I've thinned this down uh, one to one and I'm layering this on and it ends up being about six layers to get that really solid red color. Uh, I start off trying to avoid the, the knot work uh, on the armor, but I end up just uh, going for it after that. So just putting the first layer on now, here's the first layer pretty much done. Just getting into the nooks and crannies on the shoulder. Um, you know, get a nice view of my head once again. And there's the first coat done. You can see that weathering sort of shining, shining through. So under the second layer, you really start to see the, uh, the red starting to pop through and as I said I end up doing six layers of red to, to get it how I want. Uh, I also repeated the the weathering process with the black wash a couple of times because I wanted to make sure it was shining through the red as I layered up um, more layers of the red. So uh, I have uh, during this process gone back in with the black wash in between the panels, uh, worked it up and down the panels a little bit uh, just to get that shining through. I'm under the last two coats now of the red. Uh, what I ended up doing for these two coats was to get a little bit of shine into the armor. I mixed uh, about two to one, so two parts paint, one part uh, gloss varnish. Uh, and I did the last two layers with a bit of gloss in there. And there's the finished product uh, with about six layers of red and that undershirt all done. So all there is left to do is the details, so the knot work, the ropes, uh, the gold trim parts uh, and the katana that goes on her back. So thanks for watching this third part of my painting the samurai bust. Uh, if you enjoyed the video please uh, like, uh, leave a comment would be awesome, sharing it would be even better, subscribing would be amazing <laughs> and um, yeah thanks for watching and uh, if you have any suggestions or things you'd like to see me paint or elaborate on uh, please leave those as a comment I would really appreciate that. Uh, cheers, take it easy and I'll uh, catch you in the next one.